there, avid listeners. Thanks again for tuning into Sin's Workshop. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the shadows between us. Just give me a second to put my notes. I know I should have just done that to begin with, but I did not. <laughs> all right, here we go. The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. All right, so this, it, it was different than what I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. This is kind of a book. I had it on my shelf. Um, it was a gift from the publisher. It was an ARC, and unfortunately, I did not, I was unable to read it um, by the publication date. I just get so many. It's so hard to keep up sometimes, um, especially when I work at a, a full-time job, but... I've actually gotten a lot better at that. Thank, thank you very much. But in any case, um, so by the time I did pick it up, I kind of forgot what the plot was about. Like, I had an inkling. But I did forget a little bit what the plot was. You know, it is this high fantasy um, romance. Oh, pardon me. Uh, intended for a young adult audience and I think what I really liked about it was Alessandra I loved Alessandra as a character you know it starts off she kills her lover she killed her lover and she's just kind of reminiscing about that and I really do love that about her <laughs> I, I think she's worth reading because she is no damsel in, dis in, in distress. She lives in a restricted kingdom, and for a woman, um, she just kind of lives her life in a carefree manner. She loves her freedom and fights against the conformity of the court, and I really do like that. She is a very strong feminist character, and I really do appreciate that. She kind of takes a stand and just kind of does does herself she just like she toots her own horn um and i do think that she is a compelling narrator now the direction the story takes is she is trying to win the the king's heart for power you know ultimately she wants to plot his demise she wants to marry him and then kill him uh, but things don't go according to plan, obviously. She does find herself falling in love with this gentleman, which I do think is captivating. I like the evolution of their friendship. I do like how they begin as friends and how she tries very hard to win his heart and she tries very hard to be his friend but she really does enjoy finding friendship and I think that's one of the things that scares her the most that she actually does enjoy this man's company that she does feel like his equal that he treats her respectfully and I appreciate their dynamic and the growth in their relationship it does have a few bumps especially when her the murder of her um ex-lover does come back to haunt her so there is some haunting there but i do appreciate the overall context of the story and the overall evolution of the story and the richness of their relationship and i think what also makes alessandra great is she's constantly trying to prove her worth and i think on some level, she's not just trying to prove her worth to her father or to the king. She's trying to prove her worth to herself. She's trying to prove to the world that she, as a woman, should be taken seriously. That she should be respected. And she's not wrong. Uh, I really do feel like that there is this stigma against women. You know, men can sleep with whoever the hell they want. Perfectly fine. But if a woman does it, you know, she is deemed an inappropriate term. So there is this sort of double standard, and I do like how Alessandra flips to the double standard. She is very much true to herself, and I do appreciate that. I do appreciate the take that the author took in bringing to life a very strong feminist character.
and that was something I really did like. Now, there are lots of layers to the story. You have this layer of Alessandra trying to prove her worth, and you're her trying to become the queen. But then there's this other layer of the former king and queen's assassination, and the lengths that um, the king is going through, going, yeah, the lengths he's going to in order to solve their murder. And you also have the story about their relationship. Yeah, that kind of goes in, yes, that is in tandem with the Um, first layer of the story of her trying to win the king's heart, but this one's more character driven and it is, <laughs> pardon me, um, it's character driven, it is engaging and I'm all here for it because it really, Alessandra I think has a great voice. She goes through a lot of development throughout the story and that is something that makes her engaging. How she moves forward, how she grows as a character. Does she really get her comeuppance? No, she does not. Um, But you don't really want her to. Her past comes back to find her, sure, but she doesn't let it deter her from trying to live her dream or trying to win the king's heart. And he's kind of okay with it as well especially when she tells him the story because here's the thing she is her and the the king made a promise never to lie to each other and they do it and I think that's great for any relationship to really flourish and um, grow you can't lie to one another and she doesn't and I really do think that that is what makes her and their relationship really great She's going to become queen. She's going to change the court. And she's already changing the court. She's trying to help other female characters be true to themselves. She's trying to be a friend when she's never really had any friends. And she's encouraging other women to have more confidence in their selves instead of being so restricted and withheld by um, the restrictions of society. So that is something I thought was really, really cool about this novel. Now, ultimately, I enjoyed this book. I really did. It was an unexpected delight. Um, I thought when I was reading it, it would be something else entirely, but I found myself incredibly engaged with the story so I'm gonna go ahead and give the Shaz between us four solid stars the story is very cohesive it's structured very well the pacing is very engaging and the characters are engaging you lose yourself in the story and I really do like how you lose yourself in the story and I like how the layers of the story intermingle and breathe life into one another. So once again, the shadows by the shadows between us by Trisha Levin Levin Seller. Levin Seller. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give it four stars. You can go ahead and purchase the book off of bookshop.org. If money is tight, please check it out from your local library. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Please do not forget to support me by liking this podcast and sharing it with all your friends. And as always Happy reading.